Hey guys, so continue my coverage of the Sundance London Film Festival. Today's movie that I'm gonna be discussing is the madcap comedic thriller, First Date, which is written and directed by co-directors Manuel Crosby and Darren Knapp. The film stars newcomer Tyson Brown as lovelorn teenager Mike, who buys a second-hand car from this sketchy guy because he needs a car to pick up the girl next door type neighbor who's got a crush on called Kelsey, played by Shelby Duclos. He needs the car for their first date. There's a title. However, this piece of junk Chrysler that Mike has bought has a complicated history and gets Mike into all sorts of bother. Lots of bad people want to get their hands on this car. All Mike wants to do is take Kelsey out on a date, but he might not even make it through the night. Here's the thing with first date. On paper, this film sounds exactly like the type of film that I would love. It's a black comedy, very much inspired by the 80s and 90s American teen comedy movies that I grew up watching. It's violent and silly, but I walked out of First Date feeling a bit let down by it. All the pieces were there, they just didn't fit together properly. Like, credit where credit is due, you can definitely tell that writers, directors, Crosby and Knapp poured a lot of passion into making this film, and it looks like a film where everyone involved had a blast making it. I just think it doesn't coalesce together as great as it thinks it does. Let's talk positives. I really enjoyed Tyson Brown as Mike. Brown brings the right amount of sweetness and shyness to the role. He's not a very brash, outgoing leading man. He's quite reserved but he has plenty of on-screen charisma. Like, it was really fun to watch him on screen. He just has that star power. He plays him really well because you do want him to get the girl in the end. I would definitely like to see more of Tyson Brown in the future. Shelby Duclos was also a standout as Kelsey. She's kind of written to be this strong, modern girl. She's a mean kickboxer. She can definitely take care of herself, but she's not just a strong, powerful female character. Duclos manages to find ways to make her feel vulnerable and also approachable as well. She's a rounded character and Duclos did a great job with her. Tyson Brown and Shelby Duclos also gelled together quite nicely. In fact, their chemistry on screen together as a couple is what kept me invested throughout this film. The problem is there's a lot of supporting players in First Date which all performed well, just not written as well as Mike or Kelsey. I'm not criticizing the acting, it's just the script wasn't refined enough to make me care about any of the supporting players. And with no disrespect to Manuel Crosby or Darren Knapp, but I think their abilities as directors is still a little bit on the amateur side. I think they're still honing their skills as directors. A lot of their creative choices as directors, I wasn't sure if they were intentional or just because they're still learning as they go. There were a couple shots that I noticed that were a little bit out of focus here or there. There's also a scene where Mike gets pulled over by the cops and I noticed there was a lot of lens flare in this scene. I didn't spot it anywhere else in the film, just this one scene, so it kind of felt like something they didn't know how to get around, so they just shot it anyways. There's also a lot of crossfades and dissolves between certain scenes, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. I just noticed there was a lot of it used in this film. But you also have to remember that not only did Manuel Crosby co-write and co-direct this film, he also did the cinematography, he helped with the music, and he also co-edited this film with Zach Passero. I have to say, that really impresses me. Like, you can just tell this is a person who really wants to make movies, and he's very passionate about it, and I applaud him for getting this movie made, and also making it his way. It's just I think his attention might have been divided a little bit too heavily amongst all these different departments, and the end product of the film just, it's noticeable as a thing. It just feels like it's a little uneven in places. But again, I still have to give him the utmost respect and praise for, you know, throwing himself hands-on, doing everything to make sure he got this movie made. So hats off to you, Manuel Crosby. I am so impressed. He certainly shows a lot of promise, Manuel Crosby, and I will certainly watch whatever he makes next. It's just, I think he still has a little bit more to learn and First Date kind of feels like a first movie, you know, the movie which you make and you make mistakes and it's fine because you learn from those mistakes and then you get better with your next movie. So whatever he makes next, I'm happy to go and watch. So let's ask them three questions. Firstly, would I watch this again? Hmm, I don't think so. Like I said, I didn't hate this movie. I just don't think I would get any value from rewatching it again. So probably not. 
Question two, do I recommend it for you guys? I would recommend First Date to anybody that is a fan of films like True Romance, Free Fire, Go, or Pineapple Express. But I don't think First Date is a film I would tell my friends to seek out and watch. So yeah, I softly recommend it. And third and final question, what score do I give out of 10? As a 90s kid, I should have loved First Date and I wanted to love it. It's just, it didn't do it for me. It's got great performances in it and there's moments of hilarity, but I just think it lacks finesse in the writing and direction. But having said that, I will want to watch whatever Crosby and Knapp make next, so I'm going to give First Date a score of 4 out of 10. But as always guys, it's just one bloke's opinion. Have you seen First Date? If you have, what did you make of it? Let me know in that comment section down below. If you enjoyed this review, help support the channel by hitting that thumbs up button. If you want more movie, TV and Oscars related content, don't forget to click subscribe and go to follow me on any of my socials. All those links in that video description down below. And as always guys, thank you so much for watching. For more things related to movies, TV and popcorn culture, I'm Luke Airfield and I'll see you next time.